Hello and welcome to this new video in our Workout for Your Mental Health series. I kind of did finish it, but having spoken to some of you, I realized there's a few more things we should really add to it. And I'm happy for it to grow if it's something that you would really like me to grow. So please always do comment below, um, like and subscribe, and let me know what you want to, me to add to this series so I can help you specifically. So I've had a lot of people talk to me about back pain. And, and why should that go in a mental health series? Well, often it's associated. We carry anxiety and that can make pain throughout our spine worse. Um, when we can free up pain in our spine, psychologically it can really help us. It can free up our mind. So I wanted to do a session which was all about looking after your back. So this is a back care session with your mental health in mind. Now it might be that you can't get down to the floor like I am right now but you could do this whole sequence in bed. Just make sure your bed is wide enough so you're not going to fall off the end of your bed. And also, and this is really important, any information I impart, it's not medical advice. You must always, always, always speak to your doctor before doing any kind of movement. All right, so now we're going to just lie down. So if you are in bed and you're lying down, you can just stay where you are. And we're going to focus on our breath. Now it's important if your back is sore is to turn onto your side first and then to lie onto your back. And I'm very conscious that some of us will feel pain just lying on the floor. So I want you to be conscious of your sacrum, that's the base of the spine, lying on the floor. And if it does give you discomfort or pain with that tailbone onto the floor then just curl it lift it up off the floor squeeze your buttocks as you do that and then put the tailbone back down and just curl up whenever you feel you need to and then let's focus on our breath so take some nice big deep breaths for me inhaling and exhaling and just focusing on a feeling of breath with the rib cage expanding as you inhale and then as you exhale, you're feeling the rib cage come in and down and in and down and in and down and in and down. And as you get that feeling of your rib cage coming in and down as you exhale, I'd like you to also think of your pelvis sinking into the floor and relaxing. And trying to take tension away from the pelvis as you do that in the front, in the back. So really trying to release and let go. And this is where the mind comes in. Because you've got to take your mind to this area of your body and let it go. Yeah, tell it to let go. So take another breath for me, feel the rib cage expand. And then as you exhale, feel the rib cage come in, then go to your pelvis and think of this area dropping and sinking into the floor with your out breath. And use your hands for the rib cage expand and you can kind of massage underneath your ribs and then as you exhale feel the rib cage come down and then take your hands down to your pelvis and think of this area sinking and relaxing into the floor now we're going to do that again one more time focusing on the pelvis remember you can peel your back off the floor tucking your tail lifting your tailbone up and then back down if it feels achy and you can just rock the pelvis a little bit if it feels good to you anything any movement that feels good do it if it doesn't don't and then breathe again inhale exhale relax for the rib cage come in and feel the pelvis drop and sink into the floor now we're going to focus on the upper back Again, tuck your tail, lift it off the floor if you need to and relax it back down. Take a breath, inhale, exhale, feel the rib cage come in and just feel the shoulders come down and press into the floor as you exhale. And you can place your hands on the top of your shoulders and just draw them down. And then do that again, feel the rib cage expand, exhale feel the pelvis drop, feel the shoulders drop and now just walk your hands down towards your feet feeling that length in your neck. Now if as you do this your head is sticking up with your chin up 
and the back of your neck is tightening, I want you to get just a little bit of your pillow, place it underneath your chin or a small rolled up towel or a flattened folded towel and just place it under your head so that your chin can come in. And this is important because you want to be able to relax the head and the neck area. So your chin should be in a position where you could hold an apple under your chin. And just roll your head, bringing your chin in and up a little bit and in and up. And just try to release some of that neck tension as you do that. Remember to tuck. If your tailbone hurts, just tuck, lift your tail off the floor and then back down and just move that head. Now these exercises that I'm getting you to do are completely safe and fine for everybody. Just make sure that your doctor has approved and tell them that this is a specific gentle movement for back care. And you can even show the video to, the, to your doctor if you like to just check that it's okay for you. Okay, now breathe again, inhale. Exhale, relax and release. Feel your body relaxing and releasing. And then just keep your hands onto your pelvis. And I want you to try and connect to your deep core muscles. Now this is the pelvic floor. And if you look at our inner you video in this series, you'll know what that is. So that's the muscle that runs from your coccyx, your tailbone to your pubic bone. And you use it by doing that stop a fart, stop a wee kind of sensation. So let's just try that now. So take a breath, inhale, exhale, relax. Allow the pelvis to drop, shoulders to come down, chin is in, back of the neck is long. And then stop a fart, stop a wee and try to lift in through your pelvic floor. But as you do that, make sure that your pelvis doesn't actually move. Your pelvis stays still. You're still thinking of dropping and sinking it into the floor. And then do that again. Take a breath. Inhale, feel the rib cage expand. Exhale, feel the rib cage come down. Relax the shoulders for the pelvis drop into the floor. Now stop a fart, stop a wee. Lift up and draw those two feelings together and up inside you. Pull up and inside you and try and feel a contraction. You haven't touched your tailbone this time. You're just trying to pull up. And that sensation of pulling up should take that pressure off your spine. See if you can feel that. Because when you contract your deep core, your tummy should come in as well. And it's like a clamp drawing in around your spine and supporting it. See if you can feel that pressure coming away from your spine. Okay, do it for me one more time. Take a breath, inhale, exhale, relax. And then stop a fart, stop a wee, lift in through your center, relax the shoulders, chin in, drop the pelvis into the floor. Without the spine moving, think of the tailbone and the pubic bone as if they could draw in towards each other without anything moving. That's the contraction of the pelvic floor lifting up inside you and keep drawing it up inside you and up inside you, feeling that pressure coming away from your spine and then just let it go and relax it. Okay, now keeping your hands onto your hip bones at the front, just gently move your knees in your own time side to side and allow your legs to go a little bit wider and only move as far as is comfortable for you. Your hip bones will move a little bit, but not a lot. Yeah, it's mainly the legs rotating in your hip joint that's moving. Now hold it to the right and hold it to the left. Only go as far as is comfortable for you. And if you do want to go further, take your feet further apart and go a little bit wider. As you go a little bit wider, you'll feel your spine starting to move. Only do this if it feels good to you. Yeah? If it feels good, do it. If it doesn't, don't. And go at your own pace in your own time. You could go a bit slower. Make sure your knees feel all right. If your knees don't feel all right, guys, just lengthen your legs a little bit more. And it's really important to just adjust your positioning until you find a position that works for you. And if this movement doesn't feel right, just do those pelvic tilts, taking your tailbone off the floor and back down. Just rolling your spine. And you can try that move as well if you want to right now. And just think of lifting up. You can squeeze your buttocks a little bit, it's fine. Yeah, it's good, go ahead, do it, squeeze your bum. It's good to strengthen your glutes. So everybody now just do these glute squeezes. 
lifting your tailbone off the floor and again you can go much slower than I'm going if it doesn't feel right don't do it if it feels good do it okay now tailbone on the floor very slowly take a hold of your right knee and that's as far as you may go if it feels good come in a little bit further only do what feels right to you and then change take a breath for me with this one inhale exhale draw in through that pelvic floor stop a fart stop a wee bring your other knee in and hold if it feels good pull it in a little bit further and then relax it and then let's do that again take a breath tailbone on the floor inhale exhale stop a fart stop a wee engage that core lift one knee in you might just go to there if it feels good go a little bit further and then release one more time take a breath inhale exhale relax let go and it's important that you do that relaxing before you hold on to your knee and if you can't hold all the way onto it just as much as you can bring it in and then hug in and then release now turn carefully onto your side and come up and onto your knees you can do this in bed and then you may need your pillows underneath your head but I want you to relax your head down to the floor and you can use your arms and I just want you to rock gently side to side with your knees underneath you and just thinking about taking tension away from your body and just hold this position and release and relax Take your mind to the part of your back which hurts a little bit and just try to relax. And if it feels good, take your arms out. You might want to cushion underneath your head and pull back. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it, guys. Now you can do this in different ways. You can have your bottom up in the air. You can sink your bottom down. And do you know what? It's about you thinking about what feels good to you. You can also do this with your arms by your side. So this is where you can experiment. Listen to your back. You could be here rocking if that feels good to it. Does it feel nice to do this? Does it feel better to be here? Have a think about it. What makes your spine feel good? And if you like rocking, then gently rock. And then cross your right leg over your left. Take your hands to the left and pull your weight back to the right. And you should feel a stretch into your right hip. And now change on the other side. Take your hands to the right. Cross your left leg over top of the right leg and pull back to the left and then you can either sit up on the edge of your bed with your feet over the end of your bed or you can come into a kneeling position here if that's comfortable or a seated position you might want to be up here if that feels better for you um, thank you for joining me I hope you enjoyed that and this is something that you could do every morning before you get out of bed if it helps you I hope it does um, let me know please comment below um, and if you'd like more videos like this that help you to strengthen your deep core to release tension in your back then just let me know well done guys